For medical professionals, understanding urinary tract infections are crucial for both exams and long-term career success. UTIs are among the most common infections encountered in clinical practice, affecting patients across various demographics, especially women, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. For exams, medical personnel must have a solid grasp of the pathophysiology, diagnosis, and treatment options for UTIs, as questions often assess knowledge on managing common infections, interpreting lab results, and understanding antibiotic resistance trends. Infection is most often caused by bacteria from a patient's own bowel flora and usually ascends up the urethra. In women, the short urethra makes ascending infection more likely, but rarely, infection may arise from the bloodstream or lymphatics or by direct extension like from a vesicocolic fistula. A urinary tract infection, UTI, can be classified as either complicated or uncomplicated based on factors like the patient's health status and the infection's underlying causes. Uncomplicated UTI occur in otherwise healthy individuals with anatomically and functionally normal urinary tracts. Complicated UTI occur in individuals with abnormal urinary tracts or in those with health conditions that increase the risk of infection. How well an organism adheres to urothelium determines its virulence. Virulence refers to the degree of pathogenicity or the ability of a microorganism like bacteria, viruses, or fungi to cause disease in a host. It describes the severity of the disease produced by the pathogen. The presence of flagella for motility, aerobactin that is used to acquire iron, hemolysin which used to form pores, and above all, the presence of fimbria that attach organisms to the perineum and urothelium on the bacterial cell surface make E. coli such a common pathogen with high virulence. Innate host defenses prevents UTI in the following ways. Activation of neutrophils for bacterial killing. Urinary osmolality 800 miosimpilagre and low or high pH reduce bacterial survival. Complement activation with mucosal IgA production by uroepithelium plays a major role in defense against UTI. Commensal organisms such as lactobacilli, corinibacteria, streptococci, and bacteroides prevents the overgrowth of E. coli bacteria. Good urine flow and normal micturition wash out bacteria, and urine stasis promote UTI. Manosylated TAM horsefall proteins present in the mucus and glycocalyx covering uroepithelium have antibacterial properties and interfere with bacterial binding to uroepithelium. Risk factors for developing UTI? Female gender, especially postmenopausal women. New sexual activity, particularly in young women. Indwelling urinary catheter or instrumentation of the urinary tract. Urinary tract stones. Urinary tract stasis or incomplete bladder emptying. Diabetes mellitus or immunosuppression. Clinical features of UTI. Increased frequency of micturition by day and night. Dysuria or painful voiding. Suprapubic pain and tenderness. Hematuria. Smelly urine. Loin pain and tenderness with fever, chills, night sweats and rigors suggest extension of infection to the pelvis and kidney, known as pyelonephritis. Uncomplicated UTIs in younger women, age 65, can be diagnosed in those without known urinary tract abnormalities, recent urinary tract instrumentation, or systemic illness if they exhibit at least two of three cardinal symptoms of dysuria, urgency, or frequency, along with an absence of vaginal discharge. Otherwise, diagnosis is based on culture of a clean catch midstream specimen of urine and the presence or absence of pyuria. Following criteria can be used as a guide for the diagnosis of UTI. In symptomatic young women, more than or equal to 10 to the power 2 of coliform organisms per milliliter urine, plus pyuria which is more than 10 white blood cells per cubic millimeter, or more than equal to 10 to the power 5 of any pathogenic organisms per milliliter of urine or any growth of pathogenic organisms in urine by suprapubic aspiration. In symptomatic men, more than or equal to 10 to the power 3 of pathogenic organisms per milliliter of urine.
in asymptomatic patients, more than or equal to 10 to the power 5 of pathogenic organisms per milliliter of urine on two occasions. Renal scarring can result from recurrent UTI and dissemination of infection as septicemia can be fatal. In patients with a normal urinary tract, outcomes are very good, and persistent or recurrent infection seldom results in serious kidney damage. In those with abnormal urinary tracts, recurrence is more common, and outcomes are less good. The combination of infection and obstruction results in severe, sometimes rapid kidney damage, and is a major cause of gram-negative septicemia from Pseudomonas and Enterobacter species.